Hello everyone, and welcome to July Favorites. Wow, I cannot believe it's August, um, or going to be August. And I can't believe that this is, I think, my fourth favorites for the month um, video. And I'm super excited. I got a whole bunch of new things to talk about. A whole bunch of new things I've been loving. First thing is... I can't, this will be a love, I already love it now, um, but Zoe Sugg, aka Zoella on YouTube, is putting out the second book to her Girl Online series, and it is called Girl Online on Tour, and she just revealed the cover and title the other day, and from the excerpt she read in the video, I'm so excited, I'm a big fan of Girl Online, the first book. Um, I have it, I've read it multiple times, and I love it, and I'm so excited for the second book, I can't even stand it. Um, the second book that I read that I'm obsessed with is called Love, Rosie, and it's by C Cecilia Ahern, and I really, really like this book, so I think it's... It was done in a way that I haven't seen very much, and that's through letters. It's not actually like chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and so on. It's all um, letters from Rosie to her her best friend Alex, to her sister, to whoever, and it follows her and Alex through this journey and via letter. And I think that no one writes letters anymore. No one takes time to handwrite a letter, so I thought it was, or or even like, I don't even email anymore, I just text. Um, so I thought it was super cool to see a book in that format. And I've read it like two or three times. I have it on my Kindle app, on my iPad, and I've been really enjoying it. The third book is called Formerly Shark Girl by Kelly Bingham. And I read the first book, Shark Girl, um, probably two or three years, if not further ago, and I've kind of always wondered what happened to the character, and what happened to the story after um, they left the first book. If you haven't read it, it's about a girl who gets attacked by a shark, and she's an artist, and I always kind of wondered what happened to her, how she adjusted, because at the end of the book, it kind of wasn't definitive how she was doing. So, formerly Shark Girl is the sequel, and I've read it twice, and it's amazing. So, for music, um, I've been really liking the new Fall Out Boy, which is called American Beauty, American Psycho. I've been loving the CD. I'm from Chicago, and I love Fall Out Boy. Um, I remember when they first started, they used to play, like, The Warming House by where I live, and me and my friends would go, and, uh, I'm super excited that, uh, after the hiatus, they came back with the, the album <laughs> before this one, and then this one, and right now, my favorite song is called Novocaine. I really love jamming to that in the car, and I also really like um, the title track, American Beauty, American Psycho, and I think it's a great album. I think it's very different from Fall Out Boy, and it's very indicative, I feel like, what Patrick Stump's solo album, Soul Punk, was, and I feel like they've blended the two sounds. They've blended Fall Out Boy and his solo stuff into this lovely album and it's amazing and I've been rocking out to it whenever I can in the car and wherever I go. The second CD that I want to talk about which I downloaded via iTunes and I'll put a picture somewhere here is the Against the Current Gravity Acoustic Session EP. Now I have talked about the Gravity EP. This is an acoustic session and this is the second. This is volume two. Because the first one they did was for their first um, EP, Infinity. And now they have their second EP, Gravity. And they've done acoustic session CD for each of them. And it's amazing. I think Chrissy Costanza's voice is insane. And that she's super talented. 
and I'm in love with them, and I cannot wait for their full-length debut record to come out. They just finished recording it. They got signed to Fueled by Ramen, which, if you don't know, is like Paramore, and a bunch of amazing artists are on that label, and yeah, I'm really excited for that one. I've been listening to that as well in the car via my um, CD converter. I don't think this could be a favorite summer video for July um, without mentioning Demi Lovato's Cool for the Summer because that song is my jam. It is my jam. I listen to it in the car. I crank it every time it comes on Kiss FM here or any radio station. Um, I think it's stunning. I saw the music video and I think she looks stunning. She looks so amazing, so beautiful. And I'm just really excited for her and super excited for the song and super excited to hear more from the record she's working on. I don't have any real clothes this month. Um, I haven't been clothes shopping in a really long time since the video I did before where I showed you some sweatpants and I think a shirt that I got in a vlog or a video. But I did get shoes and because it's it's going to be August, and then September, and then it's fall. Stupid fall. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Summer went by like that. I went by way too fast. But in preparation for fall, I got some freaking stock clogs. Now, let's be real. I will never wear these in the snow. <laughs> um, I will never wear these anywhere when there is slush or when there is grossness outside. Because, and it still has the tag, funny. Um, because these are really expensive shoes. <laughs> and I don't usually have expensive shoes, but I did splurge on these. I'll wear these in the house and at work and in between things. And like in the fall when it's kind of not rainy and I don't have to be careful with them. But I did buy those and I am obsessed because I've always wanted a pair of clogs and I've always loved Birkenstock clogs. So... I got some. Now, something I've been meaning to do for a very long time, which I finally did, was I got some photos made up from my trips to Hawaii, and I had them framed, and they're going up in my room, but they're my favorite, favorite, favorite photos from the trip. And the first one is of this stunning, and I, and, and note that these are all my photos. I took these with either my Nikon Cool Pics, because I didn't have the Canon at the time, or my cell phone. This is a cell phone picture, so people, you can take good pictures off a cell phone. It can be done. Um, but this is a stunning video. We were on the Road to Hana tour. And I took this, like, kind of, like, hanging out the window, but it had a nice rainbow. And I thought that, like, the whole setup was really, really amazing. And I was super, super stoked with um, those pictures. The second picture I took is a little more artsy. Um, I wanted to do a black and white photo um, because I think they're stunning when done properly, which I'm not saying this is. This is off my Nikon Cool Picks. And it's Lava Rock um, at the Black Sand Beach that we went to. And I thought it was really cool because the tide had just come in. It was just going back out. And you can see some of the white foam. But I thought it was a really good shot. Um, I kind of took it thinking it was going to be really silly. And in color kind of is because it's just water and rock. But when you take the color out, it kind of looks fun. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to put this one like over my bed a little bit. The second one is of one of my favorite pictures, and this kind, this one was taken off a disposable underwater camera. It's of a turtle, and it's and in Hawaii, turtles are are considered like ohana, their family. And I saw the turtle, and I took a picture, and I was kind of excited how blue the water came out, and then the turtle's super super close. But I love this picture. And as soon as I took it, I ended up buying, like, a turtle necklace. And it even said, like, Ohana turtle on it. And every time I think of Ohana, I think of Lilo and Stitch and how he says, like, Ohana means family. And family means no one is left behind. So I think the islands really, like, they're just, 
there it's an island community and they don't they take care of one another so yeah the final picture that I did is of Waikiki Beach and this is not edited at all this is probably the only picture that I didn't really do any I didn't do any actually color correcting on this is how it printed out naturally and uh, I was actually really shocked that it printed out this nicely because it's kind of one of those really nice just shots of the beach at sunset and you got some clouds and like the shadow of the people but um I printed this off so I always print off pictures before I edit them because I like to see how they are before editing and then after this was the original print off I didn't edit this at all um, this is going to go on my door. So this is going to be, I think, what people see when they come into my room, is this picture. Um, I do have another picture, and this, my dad got me, and I was super stoked, and you probably won't be able to see much of it, but it's framed, and it does have a little line to hang, but, um, you probably can't see it, but it is Lynn University, Boca Raton, Florida. And this is the college I went to for undergrad and my master's, um, degree. So I spent five years at the school and it's all the little pictures, um, of like really big places on campus. And they have like my, there's like a picture of my dorm room and down here's a picture of the, um, Journey of Hope Memorial which um, we built in honor of the students that we lost were in Haiti. And I was there at school when it happened. I knew people on the trip um, who were there who managed to survive, but we did lose um, quite a few students in the earthquake. But they have a picture of that and a picture of the dorm rooms and the classes that we spent our time in. And I thought it was super nice. Um, and it kind of brings back, every time I see it, it brings, and it's like matted and framed. And every time I see it, it just brings back so many great memories of being there. Um, when you spend five years at a school, you, you, it really does become a piece of you. And I just thought that that was amazing. And it's very much a love of mine. I'm very patriotic to my school. Um, it, I think it's where I grew up. I mean, I, I left home when I was 17 um, to go to college and came back when I was 23. So, so that's five years of time, um, five and a half years of time. And 17 to 23, you are not the same person that you were. And I think all those photos and all the places there, um, there's moments in each of those photos where I'm like, oh my God, that happened there. Oh my God, that's where I met my best friend. Um, oh my god, that's where, you know, I met this guy, and all of it is amazing, and I think that's going, um, somewhere I can see it in my room probably at all times, probably behind where I film, because I have a big open wall there, um, and it'll probably go there because it faces my bed, but that's a favorite of mine, I've been staring at it since I got it, and I'm like, oh, college, fun times, um, the last the second to last thing that I want to share with you guys is these cool little things. I got them. You probably saw them in my last video if you watched it. They are little kiosk letters. And I have a C for my first name. And I also have a V for my last name. C V. And I'm obsessed with these. I've wanted kind of kiosk letters for a very long time. And I saw these at Target and they were like nine bucks. And I was like, I have to get me those. Um, they do have something you could put in the white that you can outline that makes it colorful. But um, I kind of like marquee signs just like this, kind of just plain. So I didn't add the uh, filaments in. And I tried to figure out where to put them. I kind of want to put them in this window. But the problem is because that window, the sun is there at night and it washes them out. And I had them over here on my tank the last video. And I just can't leave them there because I'm constantly like in and out of that tank, you know, taking the lizard out or um, changing his stuff. So in the comments, tell me where to put them. Should I hang them up there? Should I keep them in the window, put them on my desk? Um, 
keep them on the tank. Let me know in the comments below. The last thing I want to share with you guys is I got this cool little anklet or ankle bracelet. I got this cool little anklet at the Bristol Renaissance Fair, and it's a really cool, like, clip tie, and it just clips, and it goes around your ankle. I have to tie it, like, here so it doesn't fall off my foot. I have very tiny ankles. But it's chain mail. It is chain mail or TIG welding, I think it's called. But um, these rings are chain mail, the big rings, and these little ones are chain mail as well. And it creates a kind of a ladder, lattice pattern, and there's blue stones and... Blue is one of my favorite colors, and I absolutely am obsessed with this. It's one of my favorite things. I could actually probably wear it as a choker because my neck is that small too. Or a bracelet. It would probably work as a bracelet if I tied it tight enough. But I wear it as an anklet. It's meant to be an anklet. And I've been wearing it every day because I'm obsessed with it, even though I probably shouldn't wear it to work because it'll probably get pulled off and broken by the kids. So... That's it. Those are my favorites for the month. Um, if you guys want to see different favorites, if you guys have things I should check out to put in next month's favorite, which I can't believe will be the end of August going into September. I can't believe that it is pretty much August um, right now. When you see this, it will be August by the time this is up. But that's my video. That's my favorites for this month. I hope you enjoyed some of them. I hope you enjoyed the pictures I showed. And if you like them, I am willing to print some out and send to you guys if you want copies of those photos. If you like them, um, you can Instagram me, Facebook me, leave a comment below. I'll check them. Um, if you want prints, I can send them out. Um, it might take me a while to get to a store and print them, but if you let me know, um, I will print some of If you want a copy of any of my Hawaii photos, I'll do that for you guys. Um, because I have them saved on my computer and it'll be really easy to just email them to where I get them printed and have them do it. Um, well, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and my vlogging channel. I will leave the links to those below and all my social media web, all my social media sites will be in the description box below. And I hope that you guys have an awesome end of July and an awesome August. And I will see you next week for a fun video. And also, hey, I really would love to do a Q&A with you guys. So if you have questions, comment them below. And I will put together a Q&A video. Um, in a couple weeks, I'll do a Q&A. You can also tweet me and Instagram me questions using the hashtag AskCaseyVan. I'll put that also, how to spell it, in below. So have a great night. Have a great weekend. Have fun. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.